Hello everyone and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to adjust white balance and batch edit photos. Now, up here at the top, I have six photos, or the photos I took today of my daughter. And I'm going to show you how to adjust the white balance, as well as batch edit photos for when you're taking a lot of photos and you got a lot to edit. So let's get in here and get started, okay? Now, I'm going to take the first photo and pull it into the develop module here. Now this is a little simple photo I took with the gray card. Now the gray card is very important. This is what we're going to use to help adjust the white balance to get our photos a more organic, real natural tone. Okay. As you can see, the camera does a pretty good job of getting pretty close here to the correct white balance, but it's still just a little off. Okay. Now the first thing I want to do go over here is I want to add one of my presets I use. And it'll change just a little bit to everything. And we'll see it added a little bit difference. It doesn't look just right. But once I've done that, now I do want to uh, choose my white balance. Now how I'm gonna do this is use the little eyedropper here. Now, if we look over here at our white balance, we see it's right now it's uh, set at 5,500 for the temp and a tint of zero. Now let's get the eyedropper here. Let's go down here and click on this gray card. As we can notice, it did change it. It added a plus five to the tent and changed our temperature here to a 5850, just a little bit warmer. And that added real nice tones and stuff to our image. Okay. Now that we got that done, we want to kind of look at our photo here. And let's see, I'm not really sure. Not fun of some of the highlights we've got going on here. You might want to adjust them just a little bit. You get a more natural look to it. I think the whites are a little too high. While we're adjusting that, we can always take a look at the histogram, make sure nothing's breaking out. You may adjust our shadows just a little bit. Okay, now that looks fairly close. There's a little bit of, uh, more I can do to it. But I may want to go back and do a lot of other adjusting on an individual level. So, but let's go back out to our library module. Now let's click on our first photo. Then we'll click on our last. And hold the shift key to click. And that should select them all. Once I've done that, I want to go down here where it says sync settings. Now just check everything on this. And just go ahead and hit synchronize. Now at the moment we've only did the uh, global uh, settings we hadn't did any local ones so I just left everything checked but now we can go in and work on each individual photo more individually okay now here's one of the photos I took and we notice between this one and this one there's a little bit difference in the uh, brightness now that's because I changed the uh, lighting on the key light which is directly overhead and made it a little bit brighter so on this one's a little bit darker, but that's no problem. We can adjust this one individually. Just quickly pull it into the develop module. And let's just bump our exposure up about a half a stop. I will see that helped quite a bit. And I can just bring the highlights down just a little bit just to balance that out. And that looks pretty close. I'll see if there's any other spots or anything. No, it looking pretty close. I may want to do a little bit of adjusting here. I may want to work on my vignette just a little bit more. And let's go back up here. I think I could pull up the whites just a hair. They're already on about 51. And there we go. And that looks very uh, bright, very uh, vibrant and natural looking. So we got that one down pretty good. Let's go back to our library module here. Now we got our other photos. Now all these others use the same lighting. So whatever I adjust here, well, I can uh, batch apply to the rest. So let's bring this one over into the belt module. And we see we might want to bring down the highlights just a little bit. Not much. And that's looking pretty good. I want to bump up just a little bit on the whites here. And I think that looks really nice. Okay, let's go down here. And adjust the vignette just a little bit also on these. 
to really make everything bring out in the eyes and the face here. Okay, well, that's looking pretty good here. Let's go back to our library module again. Let's take this photo and click on the last. Let's click on sync settings one more time and synchronize. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now let's look at this one. This one. And this one looks pretty good, but and this one looks pretty good. Now, the one thing about this one is I think you can use some cropping. So we'll pull it into the belt module. And let's click on our crop tool here. And let's pull this down just a little bit. Don't want to leave too much of a gap at the very top. You know. Bring it down just a little bit. That looks pretty good to me. That way you get the shirt and the body off to one side with the eyes coming towards the center it's pretty decent there we go now when you crop in the one thing you want to do is try to do as much cropping as you can in camera however in the case of that uh either i was backed out or is already zoomed all the way out to 70 millimeter as i was using my sigma 17 to 70 contemporary lens to take these photos now we can zoom in and see quite a bit of detail and stuff here one thing you always want to do is double check all your photos and make sure that your eyes are in uh, perfect focus. Anything else can be out of focus, but the eyes must always be in focus. You can see here, eyes dead focus on here. See here, I think I might want to adjust the cropping just a little bit. I always, always like to fill the frame as much as possible. There we go. I do like that. Offset the image a little bit. Put this eye right here around one of the thirds. And click done. That looks very nice. Go back to the library module again. Let's look at the other photos. Crop in a little bit in this one also. In most of these photos, I couldn't get any closer if I wanted to. I already had a table in between myself and my daughter while I'm taking these, and my lens is zoomed uh, all the way, or well, zoomed in all the way to 70 millimeters, so it wasn't getting no closer if I wanted to. But we have plenty of detail here to work with. This is pretty close right here. And bring it over. There. And that's how I batch edit a lot of my photos and stuff. Now, if you want to get particular ones you want to work, uh, keep, or move around, or don't like, you can always use a star system and the attributes up here. I do that quite often too. And I do it initially to see, make sure uh, keep the ones that are in focus. But these photos look pretty good to me now. All batch edited just the way I want them. So anyway, I thought everybody would like this. That's how I batch edit a lot of my photos and stuff. That's how I adjust the white balance. Like I said, it's easily just adjust the first photo, apply it to the rest. Then go through and do a minor adjustments as you want to go along. And that's the best way to do it. At least the best way I've been doing it for years. So hope everybody liked this uh, little video. Hope it's been helpful. You know, if you like this video, and please give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up so is highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, you know, be sure to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. It lets you know how I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.